Hey, 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 I'm Barbite and welcome back all of you guys to my second part of my EU4 tutorial series, which I decided to continue after maybe three months or so, because some of you actually thought it was good. <laughs> I know, strange. So I actually had to watch through my first video once more because I forgot what the hell I was talking about. Maybe I will know what I'm doing in this one. So, I, I think this one will be about alliances, but I will think through it as we play. Anyway, let's start immediately. We didn't even play for a day of this game and that's, that's no fun. So, uh, we need to find some friends um, and we will try to fight some wars. I'm not sure if this is going to happen this video or in the next one, but knowing Poland, uh, probably in the next one. <laughs> So, <clears throat> the easiest way to find friends is first to check your surrounding. And let's start with our own nation, actually. Uh, in the first video in our diplomatic screen, we showed these diplomatic relationships. And you can see Moldavia and Mazovia are here, guaranteeing and vassal. So, how should we easier check that? We can check it using this button here, which you probably don't have, but... If you click right here and click on this dove or pigeon or whatever this white thing is, it will change color. And this will help you a lot when you are playing this game. Why? Because uh, green, green is us. These, <laughs> I have no idea what this color is even in my language, but this greenish, bluish color is our vassal. And this is the guy we are guaranteeing with. I think it's the same color with the royal marriage thing, but we will check that in a second. Anyway, I was talking about Poland and its specific events in the beginning of the game. One of those events is that we have a choice about our ruler, because we are currently in Interregnum. And we can choose local noble, and we can choose that Lithuania rules over us. Actually, we, we will rule over them. But if you're playing with Poland, you want to make Lithuania your friend. So I clicked on Lithuania, right click, and you can see their opinion about us here and our opinion about them. So what does this mean? The higher it goes, um, the there is a more chance that they will accept alliance, they will help us, they will royal uh marry us and stuff like that and the lower it goes they may start coalition against us they may declare war on us and you know you know how it goes but anyway lithuania is same religion as us you can see here they are catholic they are enemy of enemy we are getting plus one opinion monthly because of that and why is that you ask well if you see their rivals here you will probably notice Denmark, and if we click on our nation, we also have Denmark here. So, we have same enemy, and that is god-awful Denmark. <laughs> so, that's why they love us. There is, there is a modifier called Historical Friends, and I think that only happens a couple of times. I mean, only some nations have that modifier. I think uh, Bosnia and Serbia have it, Castile, Portugal have it. Uh, I have no idea. Maybe no one else has it. Well, anyway, we have special modifier with Lithuania because they are really, really good buddies for some time now. And we have minus two with them because they desire belts. I hope that's how you pronounce it. And belts is, let's find it, uh, belts is this one, I'm blind. So they want our subjects' provinces, they really want this, this here. Why? Uh, I have no idea, I, AI is retarded sometimes, but you will, you will get used to it. And this is our opinion about us, <laughs> our opinion about them. I have no idea what I'm talking about or why am I recording this, but okay. Uh, so we do not desire any of their provinces because we are player and we will not tell we want this province here, probably. Or maybe we will. Well, let's see about that. Um, this here, if you click 
first time on them. You can see these options here that you can open and close and open and close and open and close. You can see these, I never use this, so I'm not sure should I talk about this at all. It's um, their opinion about different uh, nations around them and in the world. And this is actually what they want, diplomatic feedback. So if you click on this and on any nation, you can see, I'm clicking right click while I'm using this. If you click on this and look about it, uh, red provinces are the provinces they desire. So they really want belts to integrate it, to occupy it. That's why we have that modifier minus two. And they could take these provinces from us, but they, they will deal with that in some other way. These provinces they really want and these. What about us? We don't want any province because we are human player and, you know, we can click on some provinces, but that will not help you in the beginning at all. But it's nice to know if you click on other nations, you can see that they really hate, I mean, maybe they don't hate Livonian order, but they want to take their land. So let's go on the first tab. We really like Lithuania, as I said, and we want to be allies with them because when the event fires, we will become best buddies. You will see that when I press play. Uh, okay, you, you see it says here alliance actions and we have an option to offer alliance. And you can actually, I usually have this all open. It's all closed in the beginning of the game, but you can open everything and read through it. So we can offer alliance if uh, they are really big, if they are expanding rapidly, we can form coalition against them, but we need to hate them a bit. We can offer them troops if they are in a war and that war is not something we are fighting in. And I never use this. And these are other things that are not that important at the beginning. I'm going just to skip through some of them. Impro improve relations means you will send diplomat to their nation that will improve relation based uh, on monthly tick and it will go until it hits 100 improved relations cap. So that's the way you improve basically relation with other nations that you want to ally and uh, stuff like that. There is royal marriage option. We will send some uncle to marry their niece or something like that and they will really like that but they can also send the offer to us as with alliance options but usually un unless you are big enough they will not send you alliance offers and royal marriage offers but that's the uh, that's for some other video maybe this one here is really important and it means we can build spy network in their nation, which means we can forge our claim on their province or use it for some other stuff right here. But for example, to declare war, we need a valid casus belli, that, that's how it's called, valid reason to attack other nations. That's why we send spies to build spy network. And when it hits, it says here 20, we can build a claim on one of their provinces. For example, we can pick this province as a, our claimed province, and it goes exponentially higher with each province claimed. So it goes 20, 25, 30, etc., etc. And yeah, that's the reason we use it. We can send them gifts, we can sell promises, which you will never do, believe me. And we can ask them for military access and we can offer them military access. If we want to go, for example, to fight Muscovy for any strange reason at all, we can ask for military access and go through their nation into Muscovy. But remember, if you are fighting someone and you ask for military access, if you are able to go through that nation, nation, it means they are also able to go through that nation. So if you want to stay landlocked and your enemy is unable to go through 
the other nation don't ask for military access. I mean, they can ask for it and they can still get through it, but if for any reason you want to stay landlocked, don't ask for military access. Anyway, I digressed. Let's go back to business. Let's offer alliance to Lithuania. You just click the button. It says here they will accept it. Uh, different modifiers means a lot of things. Friendly attitude towards Poland. That means this heart here. It can change. You, I will show that to you. This this um, button, uh, this picture here, icon here, will help you a lot uh, about what other nations think about you. For example, Teutonic Order, they rivaled us, and you can see a sword, um, so they hate us. Mazovia is our vassal, loyal vassal, and it's hard with a crown behind it. Um, let's see, Val Valakia also likes us, Hungary rivaled us, let's see someone else. Ottomans, they are neutral to or towards us. That will change because Ottomans and Poland do not have a great history between them. And we have... Um, hmm, we don't have any hostile. Hostile is just fire something like that spreading here and they want to take your provinces that's the meaning of it so offer alliance to lithuania you see they will accept it if it says no you can hover over it and see what needs to be improved probably you need to improve relations if it's just slim behind the line and you didn't royal marry them that will increase chance for alliance a lot so you, you will use that a lot first, send royal marriage offer and then the alliance. So let's, for the love of God, let's send the alliance offer to, to Lithuania. You can see here, oh, maybe I disabled all of these things. These things here are all the notifications that you can see. Uh, provinces, we don't need that. <laughs> I disabled the one that I don't use uh, usually, so I just use diplomats, armies, and merchants, maybe, no, no, not merchants. Why does it say player? Um, I have no idea. Maybe I didn't log in. Anyway, diplomats are all free here, and when we send an offer to Lithuania, one diplomat will go there. So, the thing with diplomats, it's, it's quite interesting. You can see now it's two out of three because one is coming back. When you are doing diplomatic actions, for example, sending uh, alliance offers to someone and stuff like that, they immediately summon in their nation and they just give letter to their ruler and they say, I go back and their ruler have one day to answer, but Depending on the dif distance between the nations, they will take some time to come back. So they teleport to that nation, for example, to Perm, but they need, I don't know, 30 days to come back right in. But anyway, um, when you send an offer, it takes one day for the, the other nations to respond in appropriate manner, whatever they want to respond. So we will going to just unpause for one day and it goes slow and pause it again and you can see this is how the event well this is more of a notification this is how notification looks lithuania accepted our offer to enter military alliance the other thing with diplomatic actions is when you send a diplomatic action to any any nation it takes a month before you can again send another diplomatic uh, offer so you can see i for example i want to royal marry them but we have recently sent a diplomat so we cannot send another until 12th of december that's month from now so plan accordingly if you want to do some actions uh, in in order uh, just plan that you will lose a couple of months so do some other stuff until that month passes so you can get back to this first nation that you send the offer to so if we go to 
diplomatic map mode, we can see that now the color changes. The blue one is our alliance, that is Lithuania. So, if we declare war, for example, on the Ottomans, if we open diplomatic map mode, they will be red, and all of their allies will also be red. So you can uh, basically see which one uh, you are attacking and who needs to be fought first. I'm going to talk about that when I talk about war. Okay, now to the next thing. Let's go back to our nation. We have three out of four relations. So we can get one more relation without losing diplo power. And how should we do that? In this production menu, uh, I thought this wouldn't be useful for you, but if you have all the DLCs, this button here is really, really great. So um, next to the last one, um, you can see here, this one here. This is for different things that you can do with your diplomats automatically. So you can send them to improve relations relationship with different well different countries depending on what you really do and if you assign two of them i'm not going to click it because it will take two diplomats they will automatically swap between countries that are in this specific group for example if i click on two diplomats to improve with allies just one of them will improve with lithuania and the other one is going to idle just idle this button here is important if you are looking for alliances. Just click on it. And this first here offer alliance will bring up the nice map mode that you can take a look at. So green ones will accept alliance offers easily without thinking. And the red ones will not, of course, accept alliance offers. Uh, some of them are junior partners. I will talk about that when the event fires. Um, they can't actually... If someone is junior partner as Mazovia is vassal to us, they can't actually receive offers from other nations. Other nations need to send offers to us because we are big daddy. So we can't send offer to Sweden and we can't send offers to all... all rivals so Teutons, Hungary, Denmark and those are rivals and we can't send to them. Lithuania is of course our ally already. If you scroll down at the bottom of the green row you can see for example Milan is red but they are minus one to accept um, our alliance offer. If we click on Milan you can see 25, 25 just same religion and you can see offer alliance here it will say tell you the same number neutral attitude towards Poland if we improve relationship for two or three months they will probably accept it so if you are looking for some specific nation to ally for example I really want Milan to assist me even though they are like 300 uh, 300, 2000 kilometers from me, uh, I can improve relations with them. But we will do the right thing and just send offers to the nations that actually want to be our allies in the beginning, just so we can secure some stuff. But how we are going to choose them, because, you know, if we click here, there's a lot of them. If you are playing as Poland, don't send alliance offer to Moldavia. There is also an event for Moldavia. And don't send alliance offer to Teutonic Order. So send alliance definitely to Lithuania and we are going to pick next ally depending on different factors. Let's check our nation. These are our enemies as we talked before. So, let's say, for example, Denmark is our enemy, but they are not really close to us. You know, we need to get past all of these nations to come to them. And we can't, you know, when I mentioned that uh, you can fabricate claim on province, so you can declare war. 
you can fabricate claim on province that is adjacent to your own land. So you can't fabricate claim on, for example, on Stolp. I can fabricate claim because it's connected to my own land, but on Kolberg, I can't. It's, it's not connected. So for example, Denmark is not connected to us in any way possible. It's not smart picking allies depending on Denmark's opinion about them. But let's see about the other rivals. Hungary is just next to us. You see, we are, we are touching. Teutonic Order is also next to us, but Teutonic Order has some event that will... <laughs> Don't touch Teutonic Order. I, I, I could have choose the, the easier nation to explain. Okay, let's, let's look in regards to Hungary. So we hate Hungary and they also hate us. You can see rivals, Poland. But who else is their rival? Bohemia and the Ottomans. So, if some other nation rivals the same nation as you, they will, um, they will accept um, alliance offer more willingly because we have the same enemy as with Lithuania and Denmark, right? I mentioned that before. And if you are going to war with that other nation, you can actually promise territory to that other enemy of that specific nation and they will come to war with you. Because there is actually some specific uh, mechanics here. Let's show Lithuania. Show diplomatic feedback. Again, we are going into this. You can see these two here. Trust is 60, favors is 0. To declare war, I mean, we can declare war at any time against any who, but if we want to call allies, we need 10 favors with them. And you can see it says here in small letters, we gain favor every 2 years. So after 20 years, we can call Lithuania to help us. But if call if we call bohemia i lost my train of thoughts <laughs> let's go from the beginning with hungary uh hungary is rivaling bohemia and they are also rivaling them in return so if we ally bohemia since they are next to them we can probably call bohemia earlier against hungary in a war not based on favors, we will not need to wait for 20 years or 10 years or how much uh, we actually need to wait, but we can promise them territory and call them after one or two years when we want to attack. So whenever you can just see your rivals and choose your alliances based on them. We can also ally Hungary, uh, Hungary Austria, but for different reasons we will not ally them we will ally bohemia and they will they adore us and they will immediately accept and we will do unpause and what i'm expecting right now i'm going to increase speed to two and let's let it flow a bit if they decide to do it Usually when you ally someone and they are the same um, same religion as you, they will usually send you a marriage offer, royal marriage offer. But this will not happen this time. Never mind. Okay, so since we... You see what ha happened. On monthly tick, something happened. Um, it calculated basically what did uh, what did happen in the last month so in the last month we picked um rivals and we have casus belly against them we only have two we don't have i have an idea so we have two casus bellies right now against hungary and denmark and that's just what i wanted to say so bohemia is ally you can see here two crossed uh, flags. 
and Lithuania is an ally. I'm going to, to leave it go and maybe I will skip this part just to show you event that's going to happen uh, with Lithuania. But yeah, yeah, you see here, sometimes you will get, actually all of the time you will get a notification like this that Georgia is um, preparing to attack Samske or something like that. And sometimes it will matter to you, but if you are a beginner, don't mind it. What I expected with Bohemia to happen, which will probably happen, happened with Lithuania. See, this is a new notification. They sent us a royal marriage offer. And we can accept it. And it will give us different bonuses. And usually if you are allied with someone, unless you plan to attack them recently, you will accept royal marriage offer because of different reasons that are too complicated to explain for me right now. But anyway, I'm going to let it go, maybe increase speed. Oh, Bohemia also sent Royal. royal. Ah, I thought I'm going to edit this, but it seems I will not. Anyway, uh, let's accept Royal Marriage with Bohemia also. We love them also. And I'm going to, to move this just to show you. Lithuania. We have a new modifiers with them alliance plus 50, royal marriage plus 25. You see different uh, diplomatic actions give diplom the different modifiers. And that will also happen if you attack someone and take their land, they will, it will lower diplomatic uh, opinion of them against you and vice versa. So this is the event I wanted to talk with you about that is specific to Poland. So, because of Interregnum, we get this event that will give you two options. This, the, this, the, this text here is a flavor text that, if you have time, read through it. It contains a lot of history and uh, smart things, but I read through all of them, I think, and I just, basically, the only options are, are the only important stuff here. So we have two options for successor of Vladislav III. We have an option to pick Jagellion. I hope that's how you pronounce this or Jagellion. And that will, it says here, make Lithuania a junior partner and the event elective monarchy in Poland happens. And the other options is let us appoint a local noble instead, which will give us ruler Vladislav the Fourth Mielzinski, Mielzinski, with a strong claim of Polish heritage, becomes ruler, and Lithuania's opinion of Poland changed by minus hundred. So you know I mentioned uh, monarch points before. Zero 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 is quite awful, and six four five is quite 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 good, because uh, these points go from zero to six. So, the best ruler is 666, the worst is 000. So, you would think, well, I should pick this one and advance in tech, and that will help me a lot. You know, he's a great guy, 645. Five in, in military tech, that, that will get me to military tech 4 a lot quicker. But, first option makes Lithu Lithuania a junior partner. Which means what exactly? This is the option you want to choose. And I'm going to do it right now and show you what happens. And a wall of text. We trust in Sage. Same something. I don't know Polish. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm probably wrong. And that's about it. And pause it. Because we have some other things to explain. So... Uh, reform feudal monarchy happened because we got a different government reform, elective monarchy specific only to Poland, which gives different modifiers. We will ignore that for now. And our, our royal marriage actually got broken because of what? Because we have formed personal union or PU with Lithuania. They have sworn their complete allegiance to us, allowing us to rule our nation as one. Only good 
can come of this. Our two nations will now be ruled by our glorious king. And what that means? You see, they changed color. They were gray. For example, Bohemia is gray and they are still gray. Um, they are ally, but they are gray here. And Lithuania is actually blue. We need to wait until the end of the month. Well, no. You see, Lithuanian attitude towards Poland loyal. They are not ally anymore. They are actually under PU. What that means? That means, similar to vassals, Lithuania shares their land with us. So, in any way, Lithuania is our part of our land. So, we are split, but they have, they have their own army, they have their own economy, they have uh, their own manpower pool, but if they get attacked, basically the attacker is attacking us through them and vice versa if we get attacked um we will call lithuania for help and we if we attack someone well the, i i got this too complicated we are the same person <laughs> same king as it happened in history same king is ruling over two nations so if we click on our nation the king that we saw in lithuania before became king of poland 441 king casimir jagelion and we have an heir now and lithuania will respond to our calls to everything so unless you have some different plans you will not pick the other options for this event this is why i wanted to play with poland because it has some specific events as i mentioned like 15 times and this is one of them so basically now we have in total 10 11 21 27 and here we have 26 which is 53,000 regiments 53 regiments, 53,000 uh, men <laughs> of standing army. So we will much easier fight our wars and we don't actually need to call Lithuania as an ally because they are actually our little buddy, even though they are smaller than us. And in previous video, I mentioned the some decisions that you can choose. First one is form Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. Lithuania was not a human player. Lithuania owns less than 58 cities at peace. Poland is not a nomad nation, is not a subject nation. Basically, if Lithuania is under PU, under us, we can pick this decision when we actually fulfill other conditions and we can form Commonwealth. And Poland is great because of that. You know, uh, Lithuania will have some problems if we check religious tab they are mostly orthodox but their state religion is catholic we have to deal with that we will help help them but anyway for now let's let's summarize everything let's click on diplomatic map mode and yeah lithuania changed color so let's check everything what we did from the beginning um bohemia is our ally which will help us ally will most definitely help us if someone attacks us. So if Hungary decides to attack us, Bohemia will probably accept. And we also have Mazovia as a vassal and Lithuania as a nation under personal union, union under us. And they will both defend us. So we are much stronger than when we started. And I think, I think that's enough for this video because I, I mostly... Uh, talked gibberish and i hope you understand what i wanted to say so in the next one um, because of some scripted event with teutonic order i think we will going to have a war and yeah let's see in the next uh, episode what we are going to do and as again as again and again thank you for watching guys if you liked it please like if you really liked it please subscribe and leave a comment below what you want to see and see you in the next video bye bye